everyone, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome to my channel. It is March 29th. Uh, National Craft Month is almost over. If you're interested in the giveaway, just see those prizes back there. I'm going to be giving those away on March 31st, but you have to enter on the March 1st video and that is linked below in the description. So don't miss out. I hope that you all get a chance to enter and 10 people will get a prize. So it's very exciting. I appreciate all my subscribers. So all the details are below about that. But today's video, we're going to construct a little memory book and it's it's how to create your own from scratch memory book. Now, I probably won't decorate everything, but it will give you the idea of how to put one together and then you can create your own designs. So what you will need though is some cardstock and I'm using black and this is pretty thick cardstock. This is 300 GSM. So that's a pretty thick um, cardstock and this is matte black. That's what I'm using. And then I've picked a six by six paper pad. That is, this one is Caring Thoughts. It's by uh, Sarah Davies and Crafter's Companion. And I, you could pick anything that you want, but this would be a great thing to make for Mother's Day. It's just a Mother's Day idea. I also had some of these little chipboard uh, sentiments and die cuts. So I may use some of those, but like I said, I'm not going to do a ton of decorating. The main point of this is to show you how to construct it. So let's get into it. To create your uh, memory book, this is going to be with six by six pages. So first I would go ahead and I would cut out um, all the six by six backing pages that you will need. So I've cut already eight, but I'm gonna need two more. And basically I'm just taking my cardstock and cutting a six by six square. So now we have all of our, our front and back and all of our pages. So I have cut 10 six by six squares. That is gonna be my covers and my pages. The next thing that you need or you're gonna to need to create your spine. These are two inches by six inches scored on the half an inch. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And so I'm just gonna take a sheet here and show you. And I've already done uh, all of those, but um, need to show you how to do it. So I'm gonna cut this at two inches and then I'm gonna cut it at six inches. And this is one of your uh, spine um, pieces to hold your pages. So what you do is you're gonna, you're going to score it. Let me just do it this way so you can see. You're gonna score it on each half an inch. So I'm gonna score it here and then here and then here. So you're gonna have two inches by six inches and you're gonna score on each half an inch. Then you're gonna fold it in half on that score line in the middle for your mountain. And then your valley score, uh, score, fold it in on each side. So then you're gonna have a piece like this. And that's gonna be your um, part of your spine. And you need three of those, okay? Then you're gonna need a three inch by six inch spine. Now this is going to be where you um, construct. So I'm just gonna take my, my pieces, I'm gonna show you. They're gonna fit folded together just like this on your page. So you'll just glue them down. And I know it's black, it's kind of hard to see, but then you'll put all of them on this three inch piece next to each other, just like that. So I'll show you with the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little glue in here so it'll hold it together. And then I'm gonna glue here and here. So I'm just gonna use the Colal glue, but you could use a tape pen if you were um, in a hurry, um, or you could, you know, you want this to stick really well. So you wanna make sure that you've got 
good adhesive on your pieces. All right, then I'm gonna put glue here and here. And using liquid glue, you may have to hold it for a minute, but um, that way you know it's gonna stick really well. And then if you don't get it just right, then you know that you can fix it. All right, so this is the first one. All right, so I'm gonna put that one down and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you. The next one will go just like this. And then the last one will go like this. All right, so it should glue down just like this. This is your spine. All right, next, you're gonna cut a piece that is seven inches by six inches. And you can see here I have score lines at two inches on either side with a three inch in the middle. And then you're just gonna fold that and score that. And this is gonna go on the back of your spine around your cover pages. So it's gonna fit in like this, like that. And then your cover page is going to fit on here, like that. So it's gonna hold it together. So you can go ahead and glue this in now, or you can make your pages glue them in and then adhere it together. I would make my pages first. So that's what I'm gonna do first. So I've got my all my backings. These are for matting. And then I'm going to put some chipboard or you could put a little piece of thin cardboard or just for my covers to give them more substantialness to make them thicker. And so I'm going to take two pieces of black cardstock and that is going to be on my cover. So you don't have to do it that way, but I just think it would be nice to know that I have a strong cover and a strong back. So what the size that I cut my chipboard or little piece of cardboard, if you ever have those that you save out of picture frames or whatever, something like that, just something. Um, that's what I use. So this is going to be five and three quarters square by five and three quarters. It's kind of thick, isn't it? Okay. All right. All right. So I have two pieces that will cover each the front and the back. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere those and let those dry, set those aside, and then we're going to cut the pages that are go on um, the inside, the matting pages, the decorative pages. Okay, so here is my front and back. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut all my pages for my uh, matting for each one. So I have six pages. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need six decorative pages for my inside pages, and then I need front and back inside on each side of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut some pages. Now these are six by six already, but in order to mat it, I need these to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So I'm gonna cut these out real quickly and get those ready to put together. All right, I have all my pages cut to five and three quarters square for my back cover and my front cover. And what I like to do a lot of times is make my pages vintage looking. I call them vintageizing, vintageizing them. So I use like a homemade uh, blending tool, which you can use a regular one. And I just use some cocoa dye ink. You could use any anything that you like but what I try to do is just make the pages look a little darker and I just go around them and just make them look old so I'm just gonna do that to all my pages and it'll just give it a more aged look so I'm gonna do that real quickly all right once you have your pages ready to go which mine are all vintageized I'm going to go ahead and cover the front and back of both the cover pages. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover the pages that are going inside. And you'll want to do, you'll want to do like a double, 
like this. That's what you're gonna end up doing. But you're going to actually adhere it on either side of your spine. So you don't want to glue them together until you adhere them in your spine page like this. I'll show you in just a minute what I mean. But that way, that even strengthens it more. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and basically, um, this is going to be the front of my memory book. And you can use stickers, you can use anything you want, ephemera, you can make your own, however you want to put it together. And uh, you can even make your pages um, scalloped or whatever. But we're just gonna go real simple here with the basic idea so that you can get your creative juices flowing and just, I'm just making um, the basic construction so you can see. So this is going to be my cover page and it will adhere to this uh, like that when we glue it in. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all my pages and then I'm going to create a few frames to go inside so that you can see how that would look if you decided to do that or you can make pockets or whatever you'd like to do inside your memory book. Once you have your pages covered, then you might wanna go ahead and decide if you want to like put a pocket or put a frame that you can put a picture in or um, any kind of side pocket or anything that you wanna do to decorate your pages further. These are just basic pages. So I'm gonna just do a couple of things to these and show you a couple of ideas and then you can take it further and then we'll construct the whole thing together. All right, so I've started putting some of my pages together. Just put this little black uh, circle with the uh, cute little butterflies in there. And then I've taken this rose and a smaller circle and put it on the top corner of this page. I just cut out a black frame and here you could put in a picture or anything that you wanted. I've got a little pocket here to add. So all I need is some double stick tape or some foam adhesive. I'll just use this foam uh, adhesive since I have it right here. And I'll just twist it on around and up the side. And then uh, you can add like a journaling card. You can add a tag, whatever uh, you would like to put in your pocket, even a picture you could put in your pocket. So then you just decide where you want your uh, pocket to be. I'll just put it down here, sort of centered. And then I have a cute a little tag that I made. So I've got some ribbon here. I'm just gonna cut that and see if this will go through this hole because it's a little bit thicker ribbon than I'm used to using. All right, got my ribbon on there. I'm just gonna put a little flower here at the bottom with some tacky glue. And then you can write up there on that and just stick that in to the pocket. So that works out just fine. Then I have a couple more pieces. I have this cute frame that I could do like catty cornered on the page, which looks really cute. So we'll just put that on and um, you can see that you could you could really embellish these a lot and you can do them however you want. Um, the black really adds to the color scheme. So just whatever color scheme you want. Um, let's see, I have one more. I have another pocket here. So I'm gonna put that on. I have another tag, have another um, pocket that I could put here if I wanted and, and make it open from the side just whatever you want to decorate with. So I'm going to finish this up and then we'll construct it. All right, now we're ready to construct. This is my the front of my little memory book and this is going to be the back. Um, this is the inside of it. And then I've got my spine. It's sat long enough to where it's dry now. I have my piece that's going to cover. I also made a cover for the back of my spine. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on 
and then we're going to put the memory book together and it's really simple once you have all your pieces put together so this is just a sticker that i had on hand it says memories okay so this is going to hold my spine in place and cover my covers in place so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and put my spine inside there and i'm using this collal glue it is very strong when it dries and it will hold everything together really well one thing with the glue, um, it does allow you time to make sure you get it in right. All right, so now my pages are gonna connect here. My front cover will go here. So you can see my cover is going to be like this. So the way that I adhere that is on this side of my flap. I'm gonna put my glue and I'm gonna line up my cover with that fold and put it in place just like that now you can go ahead and put your back cover on if you like while that front cover is drying so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna take my glue on my flap it is the easiest way to do it <clears throat> and I'm I know that I want this to come out this way so I'm just gonna put my cover here. Now, you might be thinking, what about the gap around your uh, cover? If you want, you can cover that with a little bit of lace or you can put some washi. If you're going to use washi, you may want to add a little glue, but you could also take a little lace and just cover that area it's really not that noticeable and that looks real pretty that way all right so now you have your front and back covers in place while they're drying okay now I'm going to show you how to add your pages and you just decide what order you want them to be in and one reason that I suggest go ahead and decorating them a little bit is because um, you don't want to pull them apart all right so let's go ahead and you just decide what page you want first so we'll just do this one and it's going to go on this side of this flap this side here and then this one is going to go on this side of this flap and then they're going to glue together does that make sense all right so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to put glue right here on this first half an inch and I'm gonna go ahead and let that set a second I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this whole side of this one I'm just trying to show you the easiest way to not to get it adhered together without um, a problem all right so I'm gonna just push those together like that and then you just make sure they're all stuck together and then just you know rub your glue in place okay i am trying to rush this a bit so just note that i put some clips there to hold that page together and then we're going to put this one in place and you can see that you're going to have some room in between so if you want to decorate your pages a little bit more you can definitely do that or make them thicker you definitely can so I'm just gonna hold these in place with some clips these are Dollar Tree clips so those are nice all right and then I have my last two pages all right so I am kind of pushing it a little bit but this is a little memory album um, this is your three inch spine if you want a little smaller you could do that inside the cover um, you can see your pages here and you do have room to add uh, more to your pages. Like if you wanna thicken them up or add more like junk journals, you could do that. And then here's your last page. It's still not totally dry. And then your back cover. So it's really, really cute and easy to do uh, when you have the kind of construction uh, idea with it. 
but uh, I hope that you'll try this out. It's really cute, and um, you could make these for Mother's Day. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great night, and don't forget to enter the giveaway. Bye.